So what's going on guys? I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you happen to be. Today I'm going to introduce an old school principle. It's called 21s. And it's something I've done in the past. And in fact, I've got the best results as far as arm size when I did 21s. I introduced this to my routine. But I'm going to tell you how it's done and show you how it's done. And I'm going to show you my twist on how I've improved it. Kind of a little twist on it called reverse 21s. And I think it works even better. But the traditional 21s work this way. You take any movement, whether it's a shoulder press, or a bicep curl, or a bench press, and the idea is you do the lower half, or the easiest part of the movement first, for seven reps. So if I'm doing bicep curls, I'll do seven reps, just the lower half. This is the lower part of the movement. And once I finish my seven, I come up to the top, and then I'll do seven, only going to the halfway point. Once I've completed that, that's 14 reps, and then I'll do the full seven reps. And that will give you 21 total. And I will do three sets of those, resting maybe two minutes in between, and I do three sets of those. And that really, that's all I would do for like that body part. If it's biceps, that's all I'll do for biceps. But if it's triceps, whatever, I would just do that. And I would continue from that to maybe a tricep exercise, and there'll be only two exercises that I would do for the whole day. It's very fast because you're only doing basically three sets of 21 repetitions, but it's really intense. Now, the, the difficulty with 21s is that a lot of people can't really work that hard because 21 reps and the way you're doing it is really taxing, but that's what makes it very effective is because it's so strenuous. Now, here's a problem that I found with the 21s, the traditional 21s. When a person is doing 21s, they start with their first, I'll just use this for example, <clears throat> They start with their first seven repetitions and they go on here. One, you know, like six, seven. Now when they stop there, they could really probably have done maybe, you know, five or six more. But now they kind of reserve that strength and start from the top and they go with here, you know, and they go with seven. And when they finish the seven, they usually have more left, but they've got to finish seven full reps at the end. And that's the challenge. And by the time they finish the seven reps at the top, or the four reps, usually you're pretty much burnt. But what I saw that the, the problem with this is that you kind of had to reserve energy to finish the rest of your, of your exercise. So when you're starting the first seven repetitions and you're doing a half and you're stopping without really going to failure, you really kind of left something in reserve as far as strength and reserve. And then you went to the, for the top position, you did seven. Usually you stop and the seven is not all you can do because you've got to reserve your strength for seven full repetitions. So you're really not maximizing until you get to your last set, <clears throat> which is full repetitions. And that's the only one where you're really pushing all out. So I decided to do things a little bit differently. So I thought, okay, let's reverse that. Let's take the seven repetitions from the top Let's do full seven. When you've done as much as you can on those seven repetitions where you can't push anymore, now you can do halves for seven. It's easy to do halves because you know, you've got more available energy to do a half rep. You do those sevens where you can't do anymore, and now you do your last seven from the bottom. And you can do those because these are the easiest sevens because you're only doing half reps. So that's how you would do the 21s, or reverse 21s, and you get more out of it. Now I'm gonna kinda go, go through this uh, real quickly with you to show you what it looks like. I'm not sure what weight I should be using. I just chose a weight on here, and we'll see how it goes. <clears throat> All right, so starting at the top, full seven. I can tell this is too light. Cause I should be yeah, squeezing seven, but I got more left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, even though that weight, I probably could have used another, 
I say five pounds on each side or maybe 10 pounds on each side to, to, to make it really exact. Because by the time I finish with those last seven, your arms are aching and you're like, you know, you're feeling it. So the fact that I'm not like writhing in pain right now tells you that the weight wasn't heavy enough. But that's the idea, that's the principle. Starting with your full reps and getting as much as you can, hard as you can, really barely can push seven. And then you're gonna lower for seven. You gotta maybe use a little bit of effort to make these second seven go. And when you can hardly get that seven, now you go for the bottom. You're just barely pulling your seven. You're just going halfway, but you're really feeling it. And, and, and talk about the pump. When I've done this exercise, like I'll do, do this exercise as far as uh, 21s, and then I'll do tricep for 21, same routine. I would add a whole inch to my arm. Only, I mean, it's temporary because you talk about blood flow. It talk about a muscle to give you a pump. Nothing pumps you up like 21s. So if you ever want to do a photo shoot or really get your muscles really pumped up, do 21s for whatever exercise you're doing. So if I want to go out and take some photos right now, uh, my biceps are pretty much pumped just from doing one set. And that's not, that's not even a full set. So I would probably increase my weight, do one set of 21s there, go immediately to one set of 21s on triceps, and my arms will be totally pumped. Then I go to chest and you know do some other exercises there. So you can pump up really quickly, you know, to go out and and pump for photographs or whatever you're gonna do, pump up for. So that's how that would work. So 21 for shoulders, if you're doing shoulder press, 21 would be the same principle. If I'm doing a shoulder press, I would do full 21. When I can feel like I can hardly push on my seventh one, from the top, I'm doing halves. You know, pushing hard. My second set from there, when I can only do my seven, I go from the bottom, and now I'm only going to go halfway, just pumping from the bottom to finish it. That's how you finish your 21 with shoulder press. Bench press, same way, full seven, then seven from the top, just a half, just kind of what's called lockouts, and then seven from the bottom, just hitting it here. All right, I think you got the idea. With every exercise, you do the same way, leg extensions, leg curls, squats, and that's how you do 21s. I think you'll, you'll find that this is a, it really is gonna get you going as far as adding more size to the, to the, uh, to the body part that you're doing. And you wanna do, not overtax the muscles, so you don't wanna do 21s every workout. I'll do 21s maybe, maybe once a week. I, I use the trainer body part twice a week, so I would maybe do 21s once a week for maybe you know, three to four weeks, and then I would stop. And then you would come back to it at another point because your body will adapt to what you're doing. But 21s are very, very effective as far as uh, increasing size to the muscle. We're talking about building now, not so much tone. So these are, these are people that want to add more volume to the muscle. This is a routine or a method that you can use that I think will be very effective. Now, another thing that I want you to talk about today is, is the diet. One of the, I'm always asked about diet. And I, I tell you, diet is 80% of the progress that you'll make will not come from in here. 80% of your progress will come from the kitchen. So the foods that you eat is gonna be really important in how much progress and how well you progress. And I just finished a course on just nutrition. So if you go to drgenejames.com and you'll see the nutrition course there, I just finished it and it's, it's for beginners. So it's, it's, a, it's a complete course for beginners. It's where I'm not trying to tell you how to eat about eating tofu or bean sprouts or Brussels sprouts. Or this is really kind of like average food for beginners. I'm showing you the right portions and I'm showing you how to make some healthy, you know, like protein pancakes, what's your best cereals you should be eating, uh, how to make a, a delicious salads, and just really to give you an overall meal plan where you may not be having, a, may not have a great meal plan right now. So go over and check out the, my new nutrition program. All right, whatever you do today, guys, Make it awesome.